Hello everyone, this is Ikauchi Channel. I'm Yoshida from Ikauchi. I'm Izaki from Ikauchi. We are in a season that requires humidification and static control. In another video, we discussed our three types of humidification systems, those employing our hydraulic nozzles, those using pneumatic nozzles, and hybrid humidification, which combines both our hydraulic and pneumatic nozzles. Mr. Izaki explained the differences between these types. Well, I have one question. I know this might be a tough question, but I really want to ask you. There seem to be two ways to deal with static. First is preventing static electricity through humidity control and humidification. Then, there's using ionizers to get rid of static electricity. It looks like these are two options against static, and I've always wondered which one works better. I've done a bunch of reading about ionizers, but I'm still not sure which is more effective. I'm hoping you can help me figure this out today. Got it. Could you start? I'll be using this reference material to explain. For static electricity control, humidification, or static elimination. That's the title, and I'm going to answer it. In factories, static electricity comes in different levels or ranks. Take a look at the volts on this chart, measuring electrostatic charge. Anything under 10 volts means there's almost no static electricity. Between 10 and 100 volts is considered low in terms of static charge. The range from 100 to 1000 volts, that's 1 kilovolt, is pretty normal. When it goes over 1000 volts, it's a significant level in terms of static charge. There are roughly four levels of static electricity. In manufacturing different products, static electricity has a big impact. It can lower product quality and productivity directly and significantly. I see. For example, in printing, the paper gets stuck together by static electricity. Or, in a plant manufacturing plastic products, they say static electricity causes dust to adhere to the products. Yeah, so, it depends on the factory or customer. I mean, depending on what kind of products they are making, to what extent the static electricity should be reduced will differ. Please remember this point in advance. So, what can we do to reduce static electricity? First off, ensuring proper grounding is key, it's the absolute basic. Some people use a grounding wrist strap connected to the ground, while certain factories use specialized floor coatings that aid in static dissipation. These measures serve both as preventive steps and as countermeasures against static electricity. So, the main focus from here is on ionizers, which are used for static elimination. These devices swiftly reduce the generated static electricity. The idea is to eliminate the static charge that has been generated. Static charge can be positive or negative. In simple terms, when something is positively charged with static electricity, ionizers use negative ions to neutralize it. This aim to remove the static charges that have already occurred, making it a form of countermeasure. The ionizer or static eliminator is intended to remove static electricity that is already there. As the name suggests, it eliminates static electricity. Right. Now, let's discuss humidification. Simply put, it increases the moisture content in the air. When the air contains more moisture due to spraying, any charged static electricity will escape into the air. Humidification aims to create an environment with reduced likelihood of generating static electricity using increased moisture in the air. In essence, humidification serves as a preventive measure against static electricity. You mean there's a difference between countermeasure and prevention, right? So, they're not really in conflict. That's right. Let me break down how the ionizer works in practice. I've summarized the pros and cons of ionizers on this chart. The upside of an ionizer is that it rapidly lowers the electrostatic charge to zero volts by releasing reverse ions against the charge. However, the downside kicks in when there are many spots in a factory where electrostatic charge occurs. In such cases, you need to install numerous ionizers, leading to a constant chase. Moreover, ionizers work well on flat surfaces like paper or sheets, 
but they pose a challenge when applied to three-dimensional objects, such as cups. Their efficiency fluctuates because the ions interact differently based on the proximity to the emitter, making it difficult to adjust the balance of ions. Additionally, they need to be installed near production machinery or along the assembly line, so it can be challenging to secure the space if you intend to install many ionizers. So, these represent the strengths and weaknesses of ionizers. Next, I'll talk about the pros and cons of humidification. The merit of humidification is whether it is the entire plant or just the area around the machines, humidification can create an environment with less static electricity, which is the greatest advantage. You mean, we can deal with the whole area by humidification, while ionizers are for limited space? If there are a lot of target places, you need to install ionizers one by one. Humidification can be used for the entire space, right? Yes. But for humidification, the demerit is that it takes a long time to reduce the electrostatic charge to zero volt. If not properly selected, it can cause rust, and there's also a slight potential risk of wrong humidity settings. And also, be careful with the water used for spraying. If using tap water directly, white powder may get on the product or machine. So we have to be careful about this point. What exactly is the white powder? It's silica, calcium, and magnesium found in tap water. These components get accumulated. I mean, pure H2O evaporates, but these ionic contents don't. They stay behind, forming a white powder that ends up sticking to the products. Now I've just explained the features of two types, static elimination and humidification. So, in the end, the answer to your question is, we need both. We need both. Both are necessary. I am not trying to be evasive. Because ionizer or static elimination is for removing static electricity that is already generated, while humidification is a preventive measure, as I said. They help each other to develop the merits and compensate for demerits. So static elimination and humidification do not conflict with each other, but rather they help each other. Exactly. What should we do to deal with static electricity? First of all, grounding is essential. If you don't do this, nothing will start. Next, let's create an environment where static electricity is not easily generated by humidifying entire plant or the area around the production machines. Then, for areas where static electricity is still likely to occur, use ionizers to eliminate static electricity. Without considering this three-step approach, relying only on humidification would not eliminate the static charge before moving to the next process. Similarly, if you solely depend on ionizers, you'll need an impractical number of them. Got it! Humidity and temperature can vary from day to day, from season to season. So, first of all, we should try to create an environment free from static electricity as much as possible. If you try to do it only by ionizers, the result can be different depending on the change in environment, so I think this is the best order. So, about the first question, I would say we need both of humidification and static elimination. Both, I see. Yes, both. It would be best to have a good understanding of the merits and demerits I mentioned earlier, and install what you need where you need it. So it's not the question of which is better. It's just a matter of difference. Both are necessary, but there is an order to take. Proper grounding first, humidification comes next to control the environment. And then, use the ionizer or static eliminator where necessary. This is the most efficient and recommended way. Today, Mr. Izaki explained the difference between humidification and ionizer or static elimination. Thank you. The season we need humidification and static elimination is coming. If you'd like to know what kind of humidification and static charge control measures should be taken at the actual site and how much it will cost, please feel free to ask. If you have any questions or want us to check your work sites in person, please feel free to use the inquiry form on our website or enter IKEUCHI humidification in the search field of Google or similar search engines. Thank you for your time today.
Looking forward to speaking with you again.